Qatar Energy has inked a $6 billion deal. Qatar authorities have plans to get you out of cars and on the sidewalks. Email show Dua Lipa's father had a different view on performing at the World Cup in Qatar. And finally, could the new Everton Stadium be named after Qatar? Stick around to find out more. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar Energy announced a new major signing with the state-owned corporation partnering up with US-based Chevron Phillips. In a press conference in Doha earlier today, President and CEO of Qatar Energy, Saad Sharida al kabi revealed that $6 billion deal that will see the two work on the Ras Lefan petrochemicals complex. Now, here in Qatar, authorities have laid out an update to encourage non-motorized transport in a bid to reduce congestion and pollution levels. This includes work on creating a roadmap for investment on infrastructure networks. Policies that encourage walking, cycling, and small wheel transports will also be included. A now leaked email showed Dua Lipa's father contacted World Cup officials and put himself forward to help organize the tournament's opening ceremony. Her father, who represents the singer, attempted to secure her a spot on the performance list at the global sporting event. Dua Lipa made headlines in the lead up to the tournament after shutting down rumors of a performance. Her father said Dua Lipa was not aware of the interactions. Finally, Everton owner Farhad Moshiri is reportedly in talk with Qatar Airways for a potential deal to name the club's new stadium. The stadium is an expansion project for the Tofis and is due to open in 2024. Various parties have already expressed interest in the naming rights after the club severed ties with Russia's USM holdings. While nothing has yet been confirmed, Mushiri was reportedly spotted in Qatar during the World Cup. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co.